You ready to paint? Yes. Oh, good job, buddy. Hi, I'm Joyce from Southern California, and I live with my husband and my two beautiful kids. We have a large family room that's in desperate need of an upgrade. I want to create a space that the kids can just be kids, but at night when they go to bed, I also need a space that me and my husband can enjoy. The problem is, I have no idea how to achieve this space. This is the room. Electronics, I don't even know what half of this stuff is. What am I supposed to do with all these wires? And these closet doors, they don't even work. What do you think of the room now? It looks a bit messy, but I, but I want it to be clean and organized so I can find things like automatically. Cause me and my sister here kind of make up a mess. I'm gonna need a lot of help with this. Are you guys ready to help me? We're always <laughs> there for you. Thank you. <laughs> we need your help, Richie. I'm designer Richie Holmes Grant, and I believe that no space is too big or too small to be the perfect oasis. So I'm helping people transform rooms in their home that are in serious need of an upgrade, but they're going to have to put in the work. This is Home Upgrade. Hi Richie, how are you? I'm doing well. I am so excited to hear about your family room space that you need my help with. We love this space. We love to hang out there. But once the kids came, turned into the playroom, and now it's just the clutter room, literally. This is sort of going to be a family room slash playroom. You got it. What about aesthetics? How do you want the room to look? I'm really into pictures, so I want something that's warm and inviting, cozy, comfy. What about a color palette? I love navy, I like bright colors, so anything that you come up with, I'm pretty sure I'll like. I just anything that's gonna make that room pop. I'm imagining that there'll be some times when you want to enjoy the room without the kids. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I just want it to feel like it's our space for that time, and not see any toys around. Are there any particular must-haves for the room? An area that they can do their art, play games. I really would love that closet to turn to some kind of work area, maybe removing those doors. Tell me about the kids. You have two kids. Yes, Jaden is seven, Jalen is three. Anything that just keeps them entertained, I would love. How comfortable are you with DIY projects? I'm really comfortable, I'm handy with the drill. So anything you send my way, I'm ready for it. I love a woman who is handy with a drill, okay? <laughs> Tell me a little bit about how your TV is set up right now. Well, there's the big TV and then the kids' Xbox, but I really don't wanna see that. Every time I walk into the room, I would prefer if we could hide that. That's music to my ears. How would you feel if I had you hide the cables yourself? That sounds like a plan. You mentioned that you like pictures and art. What do you have right now on the walls in the room? I'm a big fan of canvas. So there's canvas pictures all over the home. So if we can carry that upstairs, that would be touching to me. All right, clear some space because there's a ton of boxes coming your way. Yay! The Guarneri family has a neutral color palette throughout the home. So introducing too much wall color would interrupt the home's existing rhythm. By adding a bold color as an accent wall, we can stay consistent with the rest of the home, but still do something special in this room. So when choosing a bright color like yellow, it always pays to buy some samples and try it out first. My goal is to find a better wall mount and storage solution for their existing cable box and game console. I found these great options to keep cords and consoles out of sight by hiding everything behind the TV. That way you eliminate all the messy wires and you keep a really clean entertainment center. The kids will be using the space during the daytime, so those bright windows offer the perfect setup for a little reading nook. We're also going to hang a colorful mobile from the ceiling and find a cozy throw blanket to really define the space as its own little corner of the room. I found some big thick floor cushions and clear floating shelves to display the books. So the kids will be super eager to grab their favorite story and spend a little quiet time reading. The Gorneris are all in for creating a multifunctional flex space in the entertainment room closet for projects or artwork. So I'm going to have them put together a desk, some chairs and floating shelves for storage. As the kids get older, the space can be used for homework or the parents can use it as an office space. 
Now I want this space to feel like a little room within a room. So I'm going to get some peel and stick wallpaper for them to hang to really set the space apart. The family wants lots of toy storage. So I'm picking out stylish baskets and crates so we can store toys in plain sight. And since Jaden and Jalen are still pretty young, I wanna make sure that any storage solutions we bring into the space are light enough for them to pick up and put away. That way, mom and dad don't have to be too hands-on during cleanup time. The Gorneris have some really gorgeous family photos, so I'm printing up some classic black and white portraits so they can have their own little gallery wall starring them. I think it's a big puff like you guys sit on. It looks like another one. Oh, it oh. is! So oh. you guys each have a poo. Yeah. So we don't have to fight. With, so we you don't, don't have, have to, to fight. fight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that not beautiful? So cool. Is this art stuff? I am, I am more excited than you. <laughs> Up. Hi Joyce, how's the upgrade coming along? Hi Richie, everything is going smoothly. We've had a couple little hiccups. How can I help? You really tested our nerves on that wallpaper. The pattern, I thought it should go one way. James is like, no, it should go the other way. I just walked away and let him take control. One of the things that you can do if you ever do peel and stick wallpaper again, lay it out on the floor and match it up before you actually put it on the wall because then it's easier on your eye. You don't actually have to figure it out once it's up on the wall. So hopefully, how does it look now? It looks amazing. It's so beautiful. I, I really love that space. What's next? I'm concerned with those shelves that go in there. Is it okay just to drill a hole right through that wallpaper? Yeah, it's actually okay, but you wanna make sure anytime that you are hanging shelves that you use the stud. So you've got the stud finder, right? Yes. So I want you to find the studs, and believe it or not, it's really simple to just drill right through the wall with the wallpaper. It really, it's almost like it's not even there. So what's been the most enjoyable part so far? Actually the painting. <laughs> that blue wall, I really love it, especially since the family pictures are gonna be there. I know you've got a lot of blue going on in the house, so I wanted to make sure that we incorporated it in the room, but it was pretty hard to find the right shade, so I'm so happy that you love it. Are you feeling like it's coming together as a cohesive space, but also separate spaces? It's unbelievable. I feel like there's four different rooms in there in that one space, which I love. So what about the yellow accent wall that I put in there for the kids? I really love the yellow, but my concern is, I'm just not sure if I can really commit to that yellow yet. I totally get it, Joyce. Yellow is a very tricky color. So what I'm gonna do is order you a few samples in different shades, and you can try them out. Just dab a little bit on the wall before you fully commit, and then let me know which one you like, and we'll send you the rest of the paint for the wall. My next concern is we've already painted the blue wall, so I'm ready to put the pictures on the family gallery wall, but I'm not sure how I should organize that. One of the things you can do beforehand to plan out the placement is to use cardboard cutouts. Now we sent you a lot of boxes, so you shouldn't have any issues finding the cardboard and place them on the wall until you feel comfortable with the setup. Thanks again, Richie. Bye-bye. What do you think, Jane, right here? Lower, lower. Lower? Lower, lower. Lower? Even more lower. Lower? Like this low? I mean, come on, we're going to the ground. Oh, yes. you're silly. Can you help me with that? It's a little heavy, be careful. Ooh, be careful. Be careful. Okay, are we are we gonna assemble them now? Yeah, there is the legs. Look, oh. they have letters on them, so, oh, so so the so the B goes on top of the C yeah. and okay. all the way to the top. All the way. Washer in the screws, screws in the holes, right? Yeah, good job. Right. 
See, most of your stuffed animals are filled with this. Oh yeah, it's <laughs> like snow. It, it is like snow, huh? Okay, we're gonna stuff some pillows, you ready? Yep. Let me test it. Are you gonna test it? <laughs> Think it's cool? You look like a marshmallow ready to eat. <laughs> you ready to paint? Yes. Oh, good job, buddy. What do you think? I think it looks better. The DIY projects have been pretty cool. It's been a lot with little ones running around, but we're so excited to open boxes and see all these amazing products that are being shipped to us. Some of the most tedious things so far is definitely that pill and stick wallpaper. Oh my gosh. To get those patterns matched up was a nightmare, but in the end, it turned out amazing. My favorite part is definitely this family wall. That to me is everything. Family is the most important thing to me. So to have that is pretty special. Whoa! I was a little nervous to take on this project, but when you have two little ones around and you're your mom, you can conquer anything. And this has been a wonderful experience for our family. Hi, Guarneri family. Today is a big day. Yay! <laughs> I am so excited to see your finished space. Oh, we're so excited to show you. We can't wait for you to see it. All right, let's go. <gasps> wow, you guys did such an amazing job. I love <laughs> it. Well, we couldn't go wrong with all your directions and your input. It was funny too, because when the color scheme came out and you were talking about yellow, I'm going, Oh my God, not yellow. But then when we did it, it came out amazing. It just looks great in there. Thank, Thank you, you, Richie. You are so welcome. I'm so happy that you love it. And I'm so happy that you were brave enough to try the yellow wall. I think it really makes everything pop. I'm so glad we were able to hide the TV wires too, right guys? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, what a difference. Hiding the wires and the... Yeah game console behind the TV, amazing. And look at this amazing storage. I can't believe it came together so well. And now Jaden and Jalen, you have places where you can store your toys. Yes. to clean up. <laughs> I love how the blue and the white bins really pop against the yellow wall. And you know what I like the most? When you walk into the room, first thing you see is Jaden and Jalen's names on the wall and all the different colors and everything. It just pops right out at you. It's great. Jaden and Jalen, tell me what you think about the room since it has your names all over it. What do you think? It's like the best thing. At first it was boring. I was like, and then, and then poof. <laughs> it's, it's like the best. Do you like it, Jalen? Yes. Is it pretty? <laughs> what I love the most is that we're able to display Jaden's artwork in the flex space. I think that's probably one of my favorite parts of it. Me too. And you know what I like? I like when you walk in the room and you look at the wall with all the pictures. It looks so homey and family oriented. One of my favorite parts of the process was actually selecting those photos. I just got so much from your family just looking at those photos. The pictures that you chose just says so much about our family. The time that James and I get to spin back there just by ourselves, so put the kids to bed and just have our own time to reflect. It's just solidified the whole space. Let's talk about that flex space. What a great job you did converting that from a closet to a space that you can use as an art nook, as a homework space. It's great. I never thought just removing doors and putting wallpaper out would just change the whole feel of that. But man, it looks like a whole separate little room itself. So we love it. Yeah, amazing thing. You are so welcome. Well, you inspired me, Jaden. I heard that you're a very talented artist and now we can display your work. And the cool thing about the wires is that you can switch out the artwork anytime you like. And also your reading nook, that's a place where you can read your books, you can hang out on the poofs and make it yet another space within a space. The carpet in front of their little reading space, that really makes the room pop. It's unbelievable that you found something like that that can coordinate all the colors. Let's talk 
talk about how amazing the family room space looks. I mean, I just feel like I'm in a totally different room when I look at the blue wall and the sofa. We really zhuzhed up the sofa, right guys? Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. It, I, it feels like a new sofa and it's just so relaxing and just, it just totally makes the room calm. And I wanted, of course, a space where Joyce and James, you can appreciate when the kids are asleep. You can enjoy movies there for date night and also it's a great family space as well. And the best part is when we go in the room now to use it for ourselves, we're not tripping over toys <laughs> and stuff exactly. like that. Cause that makes me so happy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm, I wish I was there right now to enjoy it with you. <laughs> so do we. <laughs> I know, I know. But you're here in spirit and your ideas That's just right. came through. What are your favorite parts of the room? Jaden and Jalen only. My favorite part is obviously the place where you can do art. Everything in me is just art. I love to draw. <laughs> what about you, Jalen? What's your favorite part of the room? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> she goes in there with her little blankie and reads her books and she just sits there for hours. It's great. When I look at this room, I see so much life and so much energy. It's so colorful and bubbly, just like all of you are as a family. And what I love most is that you can enjoy this space during the day and then wind down at night and it can be a family space and a parent space as well. I just, I love it. I can't thank you enough. Like I said, I, I didn't realize like bare walls could come out to life. Thank you so much. So my work here is done. I'm so proud of all of the work that you've done. You pulled off a really great space that you can enjoy as a family. So go ahead, go on and enjoy it. Thank, thank you. you, Richie. Thanks again, Richie, for all your help with this room. When I walk into that room now, I feel a sense of calmness. I feel a sense of joy, laughter. I get a little emotional when I see the family pictures. It's just everything to me and it has changed my life. <laughs>